This is a tutorial for using the Remote UI feature in Cynthia Mark. Remote UI allows you to control an ARC robot from a mobile device. There are many robot skills available to remote control your robot. Joysticks, web servers, even the AI-powered exosphere. You'll need an ARC robot project that has a movement panel and a camera, and the robot can move. To learn how to do that, the Getting Started Guide has instructions you can follow. Specifically, are the movement panel and the camera, and we'll be covering the user interface. So let's load our robot project. Connect ARC to the EZB. Connect to the camera. We'll add the movement joystick navigation skill for testing. Now let's make sure the robot can move. Okay, great, the robot drives. Before we begin configuring the remote UI, let me show you the manual page for reference. Synthium website support, using ARC, project menu, and remote UI. All right, back to our ARC robot. The first thing we'll do is create an interface using Interface Builder. Add robot skill, remote control, Interface Builder. Edit the Interface Builder robot skill. We will add a connect button, which allows ARC to connect to the EZB over the remote user interface. Now let's add a camera so we can see what the robot sees. To move the robot, let's add a joystick pad. Check the variable speed option. Check the use as default full screen interface option. Press save. Switch to the full screen interface and we should see our interface we just made. We will now enable the remote UI server. Select My Robot, Properties, Remote UI. Check the Enable checkbox. Provide a password. Press Save. From a mobile device, load the Remote UI app. You'll begin to see all ARC robots listed if your mobile device is on the same network as your ARC robots. Pressing Select for the robot will populate the IP address and TCP port with the selected robot. Enter the password. Press connect. We now see the interface we just created, including the camera. Let's drive the robot around for a second. Yep, it works. To exit the interface on Android, press the back button or swipe from left to right on iOS devices. One last demonstration of the versatility of the remote UI. We can add buttons to change interfaces. Add a new interface. We'll add a back button. In this new interface, we'll add a camera. And I'll add a script button that speaks, just for fun. On our first interface, we will add a script button.
In the script button, we'll instruct to show the new interface. This is done using the show control, which we can find in the cheat sheet, or right-clicking in the editor. Now let's take a look at UI. Yes, we can change screens. Review the Interface Builder Manual for more information on building custom interfaces.